guys welcome to another lecture uh, session lecture session number seven uh guys i as i promised in the previous video that i will check if this thing is true for the last term okay um the last term equation is given by um sn is equals to n over 2 a plus l okay so we want s20 or even here i didn't write it ne? i'm sorry about that guys it's s20 so s20 is given by 20 divided by 2 and then the value of a is 5 the value of uh it's negative 52 so we're gonna have uh okay let me not write it there let me write it here uh, 20 divided by 2 is 10 and then 5 minus that it's negative 47 okay which gives us the very same solution negative 470 so you can choose to use the first um, uh, uh, method or the second method is still the same thing guys yeah just don't complicate these things for yourself okay please please don't complicate these things for yourself okay so uh initially this this session was supposed to do um subsection 3.3 so let us just go through and do subsection 3.3 okay guys um i can see that you are writing uh oh you're busy asking questions there guys I'm, I'm very appreciative of that and please continue um uh solving these problems and yeah trying to do these things on your own for understanding purposes okay so subsection 3.3 uh, they just say calculate so 3.3.1 this is what you are told to calculate uh, to infinity and k is equals to 1 of 2 1 half to the k okay so this is sum to infinity they just said calculate the sum so this is sum to infinity and I know most of you know the sum to infinity okay so let us find t1 t1 is given if we substitute a k is equals to 1 here so then our sequence is given by 2 times 1 half to the power of 1 is just 1 and then 2 times 1 half to the power of 2 is just 1 for uh, 1 half it's just 1 half sorry about that guys it's, it's excitement getting to me it's just 1 half and then 2 to the power 1 over uh, um, or oh, 2 times 1 half to the power 3 which is just uh, 1 over 8 times 2 is 1 over 4 and then and so on and so on and so on okay so I just found that the first three terms okay um, I, I don't need to do this I'm just doing this to to be able to 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 know what to substitute when I've got an equation okay so my s infinity is equals to the equation a all over 1 minus r okay which this thing is equals to a is 1 1 minus and then my r is 1 half which this thing is 1 divided by 1 half which this thing is just 1 divided by 1 half which is 1 times 2 which is equals to 2 so our s infinity is equals to 2 guys okay our s infinity is equals to 2 so as, as a question 3.3.2 3.3.2 it says that we need to calculate now k is equals to 0 to 7 okay k is equals to 0 to 7 of the same sequence now i hope you, you identify the, the, the difference now because like with the first one k was equals to 1 for the second one k is equals to 0 is the first term okay so in this case let us find uh, the, the 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 first three terms so if k is equals to 0 then it becomes 2 then it becomes 1 then it becomes 1 half and then so on and so on because if you can check if we substitute 1 it gives us this if we substitute 2 gives us that 3 gives us that so we don't need to do that the only thing that changes is the first term okay the first term is the only thing that changes and mind you uh i want you to look at something your value of r your value of r is less than um uh, uh um, is less than one okay your value of r is less than one so since your value of r is less than one i'm gonna use this equation sn is equals to a 
times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r where our r cannot be equal to 1 and our r is less than 1 okay so there is another one where it says a r to the n minus 1 all over r minus 1 that when we use it only when r is greater than 1 okay so let us substitute here guys okay so the value of a in this case is equals to 2 and then you've got 1 minus 1 half this is given by that okay because we know the general term of a geometric sequence tn is given by a times r to the power n minus 1 okay so we need to be very careful when you do such questions okay so uh this will be given as so the power of n our terms okay i need to write it here our terms are eight so i'm gonna just write it there divided by one minus one half okay because we've got terms from zero to seven so it's zero one two three four five six seven so it's eight terms okay now what's going to happen is from here i'm going to have um, two one minus so what i know is two to the power of um, of eight is 256 and then i'm going to divide this by one half because one minus one half is just one half okay so i can continue and say this will be equals to two this can be 256 over 256 minus one which is 255 all over 256 255 over 256 and then 256 we can just say how many times does 2 go into 256 and then have this one half over here okay so how many times does 2 go into 256 okay let me not ask that now let's just continue with this okay let's continue the idea 2 multiplied by 255 all over 256 divided by one half which this is equals to now 2 goes into 2 once and it goes into 256 128 times okay 1 to 8 times so therefore i'm gonna have 255 all over 1 to 8 multiplied by 2 over 1 and then how many times does 1 to uh, how many times does 2 go into 1 to 8 it goes 64 times so this becomes my final answer 255 all over 264 please check it guys ne? please do check it and let me know if the solution is true or not okay so the last question uh of this subsection is 3.3.3 .3. they say we should find t given that t is equals to this infinity k is equals to one two times one half to a k minus seven k is equals to zero two one half to the power of k so this is just me taking whatever that i found first minus this one and then finding the solution there okay so i don't think i'll need to write it but because I want us all to understand, I'll just write it 255 all over 64, okay? So I'm going to write this 2 in terms of 64. Uh, 64 times 2 is 128, 64 minus 255 over 64. And then what I have here, it's, um, so it's just 1 and then, so it's going to be negative, negative 127 all over 64 this becomes my final answer so the value of t is just equals to negative 127 divided by 64 okay guys please keep on liking and keep on subscribing thank you very much